where tonight the Red Wings host Green Bay Preble. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, South comes in tonight 1-0 in conference, 1-1 one one overall. Uh, that first week when they played a conference opponent, it didn't count towards the standings. Uh, so they're in pretty good shape in that regard. Uh, the exact same thing happened with uh, Preble. They lost their first game, but won last week, and they come in 1-0. So we got a game for first place tonight. <laughs> well, one of the things is that, that I'm kind of, what teams are going to show up tonight? We saw that, you know, where Preble went and played Ashwaubenai and just got buried, and then they played, you know, Pulaski and beat them. And then last week, South played West and, you know, basically threw a shutout up there. Didn't look so good on big plays against Notre Dame. You know, which team is what or what? I think tonight's one of those things is, yes, who's going to step forward to be in the upper division, maybe in the lower division? I know it's not necessarily, you know, for the whole year, but it is kind of a mystery game. One of the things, I, I equate it to that game last week when the Badgers beat Massachusetts, because you're not going to learn much about your team against Green Bay West, and we're finding out that teams that play Pulaski, you're not going to learn much about your team against that opponent either. No, and I think, you know, talking to some of the coaches up there before we got came on the air, they're talking about there's been a lot of improvements. They've really worked hard on the defense. They're, they're trying to avoid that big play, and, you, you know, they've kind of said, you guys watch tonight, there's been a lot of changes, and we've worked very hard over the last two weeks to prepare for this game and expect a, a completely different defensive team from Sheboygan South. Let's talk about uh, Preble a little bit here and uh, throw out a couple of names. You can talk about them. Will Daniels is their quarterback, and uh, the other guy is Corey Seglowski, and uh, those two guys will be calling their name quite a bit. Well, Corey's their running back, and uh, I have him for 160 yards in two games, so that's 80 yards a game. But the guy to watch tonight is Will, Will Daniels. He's a Dave Craig quarterback watch player in the state, and if you ask what that is, they, they kind of rank the top quarterbacks in the state and they have a watch list and he's on that list and you know he is the real deal he's got a great arm and uh somebody that's definitely that south's gonna have to watch out for and that's why i'm a little bit scared because a couple weeks ago we had the big play allowed by the secondary and a lot of breakthrough tackles and things are going to definitely have to watch for will daniels because he can do it not only on the ground but he can do it through the air as well let's talk a little bit about south uh huffman's at quarterback they got boris ristovoyevich at uh, running back but they're missing um, Mitchell Martinez tonight. Yeah, so they're going to take Connor Harrison, which is an outstanding athlete. We've we've seen him in basketball. He played baseball. Uh, someone, big, tall kid. They're going to move him to wide receiver. He wanted to. He's kind of like the backup quarterback, but they've decided, hey, we got to put the you know the best skilled players out there, and we're going to let Connor go out there. And you know, Robert's got a good arm, and he's going to have to look for him. And other people are going to have to step up for Mitchell. There's no doubt about it. But you know. I like Boris too. He can run the football and hey, this I was, team. I was gonna say Boris is six feet, 190 pounds. He's a load, you know. If you give him a little bit of space, he can carry tacklers. Yeah, I like him a lot too, and Andrew Weidman too. I like those two guys, and you know, we know that the South can score. They scored, you know, they're averaging 30 points a game. You know, they got 21, nine in the first one, and I think 35 last week. So, you know, this team can score some points. Uh, let's just, like I said, tonight the big thing is let's avoid the big play. Exactly. With that, we're gonna step out when we come back, we'll have the uh, opening kickoff for tonight's game. If I ride, I will know the way the trees know after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take Tuesdays off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter, and oil tankers will haul chocolate milk, and I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider.
Are, Are you connected? connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, and employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications. I'm pretty positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. And oh, to I the guard, coach, head coach Chris Hine, your yeah. Sheboygan South High Warriors! Yeah. Yeah. Our athletic trainer from Gravia Sports Medicine, Curtis Gibson. Tonight's game supervisor. Adam Engelbretson. Hey. South High Drama is working concession, selling nachos, hot dogs, popcorn, soda, slushies, and much more. Voted top five concession stand in the Midwest. Coming to the sideline, getting ready for the uh, start of tonight's football game. We mentioned in the opening, South is 1-0 uh, in conference, 1-1 one one overall. Ristovojevic on the year has got 47 carries for 250, 240 yards. He's averaging 5.1 yards per carry, and he has three touchdowns. Uh, the guy that's going to be missing, Mitchell Martinez, had four catches for uh, 86 yards. He's averaging over 20 yards a catch. You're going to miss that. Well, there's no, there's no question that they want... Uh, to have Mitchell on the field, but that's just not the case. High ankle sprain. Back to receive for the Hornets is Alex Wood, number one, and uh, TJ Corona. Not coming with a lime. Kyle Cady will do the kicking chores for the Red Wings. Was a soccer player, Marty. Now he's well, trying to When Dave Pfeiffer was here, it wasn't unusual to pick somebody off that soccer team and get them out for football. Katie's kick carries to about the three yard line. Wood on the carry, breaks it to the outside. One man to beat, he got around Katie. He's still on his feet down the sideline. He's gonna go all the way. Touchdown, Preble, no flags on the field. 97 yards. Well. There goes Alex the, Wood on the return. There goes the big play right away, Marty. Here you'll see it. You know, and he broke a lot of tackles. There's one. Last chance was there for South was Murray, and he wasn't going to get him. Ay, ay, ay. The extra point is no good. So with uh, 11.43 left in the first quarter, Preble on top, six to nothing. Jeez. But the curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom, 
it is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights. You can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boy Town National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Trained counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. Connor Harrison and Kyle Cady back deep to receive the uh, kickoff. Sigelski, the uh, good running back, is going to do the kickoff chores. Oh, check that. Number eight. Am I seeing number eight out there, Chris? Ben Kornowski is the kickoff. It's, yeah, it's man. nine. Eight or nine, maybe? Yeah, I think it's number eight. High and short. Taken and then go right, going right down was Fernando Alvarez. South will get it at the 29. Actually, it was five, Marty. Those are tough numbers to read. Us, pardon me, number five was Corey Segalowski. Boy, those are tough, tough to read. Well, see what South can do. First and 10 on the 29, Huffman at quarterback. Ristovojevic, the deep back. Hand up off the middle and uh, going right down. I think that uh, Wildman tripped on one of the feet of his linemen. A penalty already, Marty. Illegal procedure on South. You know what? I don't mean to nitpick, but we've had uh, three plays, and it gave up a kickoff return. Two guys almost botched the kickoff for South, and now we got a penalty. Not a good start. Ristovojevic off right tackle. He barrels forward for about three yards. Three yard pickup. Make it a two yard gain. Second down and 13. Boris averaging 5.1 yards per carry. Sending a man in motion and a fumble. And Preble looks like they've got it. Coming up with the loose ball was Riley Vandenplas. Well, I think they wanted to run the Jets sweep there, but they weren't sure if Huffman was going to give it to him or not give it to him. Well, I think it all started with the bad snap. Chris uh, Huffman had a jump up to get it, and then... Uh, here you're gonna see, watch the high snap. Whoa! And uh, Ristovojevic was too close. First and 10, ball on the 14. Daniels, looked like the ball may have slipped out of his hands. Anyway, the pass is incomplete. Daniels, a six foot, 200 pound senior, wearing number seven. He's a good one. Two wide receivers off to the right. Seglowski fake to him. Daniels keeps it and spins down inside the 10 yard line to about the seven or eight yard line. Well, that's what McDaniels so scary. He's got 30 passes, but he's also their leading rusher. He's got 34 attempts, 177 yards in two games. He's also scored three touchdowns, Marty, so 
He can throw it and he can run it. Third down. Sigelski, the running back. Hand off to him. He's going to try to get the corner. He's got it. Heads south and uh, barrels into the end zone. Touchdown, Preble. Oh, you can see where he's a good one too, Chris. Uh, once he got the corner, he got his shoulders squared and uh, barreled into the end zone. Yeah, he's averaging eight yards per carry. That was nine. And uh, that's his second touchdown on the young season. Scott will get a replay of that up and uh, you'll see what we're talking about once he gets the corner. Josh Sinclair, the holder, the extra point this time by his good, is no good. Boy, I thought it split the uprights. So did I. With 10.02 remaining in the first, Preble on top, 12 to nothing. Well, as Bob Euchre says, uh, there's still a lot of game left and there's plenty of seats. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Katie and Harrison back deep again. I think they're waiting for us to come back from commercial. <laughs> yeah, right. Taking a little longer. Sigelski's got it teed up. Another high short kick taken on about the 17 and uh, ripped down was Doug Williams. Well, Williams keep, gets it out ahead, to Marty. the 24. Sorry about that. I was just gonna say, keep with your game plan. It's way too early to start throwing it around the park. You know, if you're gonna run the ball, run the ball if that's your plan. No, just keep with kidding yourself. There's a long way to go. Yeah, you're exactly right. If you're going to be down 12, you might as well be down 12 early. Huffman looking for running room. He found a little bit. Picks up about four or five. Meet up front did a good job that time for South. Second down and five. Empty backfield, Marty. Wide receivers, two to the left and right. There's a jet sweep to Bristovojevic. He breaks it to the outside. He's got some room. He's knocked down right around the 40-yard line. Flag down, Marty. Oh, no. Timing was good on that play, Chris. You're gonna see it. Goes in motion. And a much better snap that time. Hard to see where the penalty occurred. Oh boy. occurred right near the line of scrimmage as Ristovojevic was breaking to the outside. Ball is going to be spotted on the 23. 
Going to be second down and 11. Second penalty already, Marty. Yeah, it's not good. Connor Harrison is wide to the left. Going deep. Harrison's open, but the pass is off the mark. Well, he doesn't have Mitchell's speed, Mitchell Martinez's speed, but uh, he did get behind the defender, and Robert just overthrew Connor there. South down 12 to nothing. The game started with a 97 yard kickoff return by Alex Wood of Preble. Oh, Huffman no. had that snap go off his foot and he's trying to scramble for some yards and he gets a few but not close to the first down. It's gonna be fourth down. Back deep for Preble is Will Daniels, the quarterback. Heavy rush, Huffman gets the kick away and uh, takes a good bounce for South. And it's gonna be down just inside the 40 yard line at the 39. Now on the other side, on defense, you really got to force something here that Preble's not going to score. Now, let's be honest with you. They had good field position on that fumble, and they got a kickoff return. So first time Preble really has a little work to do, but they still are at the 44-yard line. 44. Yeah. Daniels uh, not going anywhere, loses a yard or two. And that's the defense we're looking for, the swarming red. There's about four or five guys there. You can't even pick out who made the tackle, which is a good thing because exactly. you got four or five guys there. Big number 81, Nathan Reimer is uh, wide to the right. They got two wide outs to the left. Daniels hits the uh, receiver on the left and uh, he picks up a few yards, not much. Brandon Collins was the uh, receiver. That's his fifth catch on the year. He's averaging uh, well over 25 yards a catch. Lucky there for South, there was another missed tackle, but uh, South swarmed to it. Big play here, third and six. Pick up a five yards on the play. Good defense played by South, they're trying to contain him. He's not gonna get the first down. Good job. It all started with uh, Cody Zimmerman, number 99. Absolutely, the big junior applied the pressure, then Sam Selk came up, and then Daniels looking downfield, but he had nobody to, to uh, throw to, so give coverage, uh, good coverage by the secondary as well. Good snap, punt is away. And a bad kick. South is gonna get it in great field position at about the 38. 18 yards, Marty. Oops.
Huffman still at the controls. Jake Malwitz is wide to the left. Ristovojevic in motion, fake to him. Huffman taking it right up the middle. Picks up about three, maybe four yards. Kornowski for Preble was the spy there in Huffman and uh, slowed him up, but uh, Robert did elude him. But a nice little game. Take four yards at a crack. Second down in six. Wildman is the up back, Ristovojevic the deep back. Hand off to Boris and no blocking there. He gets nailed at the 40 yard line and pushed back. Well, Preble rotated a linebacker or somebody up to the line, so. I noticed that. So the box was full. And they ran right where that kid <laughs> stepped into the line. Malowitz and uh, Emmett Dean are the wideouts. Huffman rolling, looking, fires oh, a there's shot. Gotta be a pass there's incomplete, a lot of but flags. we get a flag. There's gonna be pass interference on Emmett Dean. That was an uh, easy one to see. Pass interference is the call by uh, our official. Matter of fact, the officials tonight, we've got Nate Metter, Mike Winnegar, Gary Oldrich, we know Gary. Well, Gary played baseball for you. Uh, Dave Geltmeyer and Chuck Rogers. 15 yard penalty, first down south at the 45. Well, I know Gary O, he, uh been officiating a long time. He does a lot of the youth football on Saturdays and Thursdays. It's so he worked his way up and now varsity official. Pitch out to Ristovojevic. Gets a good block on the corner by Wildman, but uh, good pursuit by Preble. Keep the gain to uh, only one. Yeah, Raymond Henry, number 99, came up. 255 pounds, 6'3", junior. <laughs> and he runs like a deer. <laughs> See if they can get Andrew Wildman here. Huffman in the gun. Hand off to Ristovojevic, and he's nailed in the backfield by uh, Riley Vandenplas. He was the kid that recovered the fumble, Chris, back early in the first quarter. I don't know who has that responsibility there, but he got a running start. And yeah. There's nobody there. Boris never had a chance. It's third down and 12. Deep pass way over the head of the intended receiver, Connor Harrison. It's going to be fourth down. Just like that, that nice little drive stalls. Well, when you look at it realistically, they got a first down on a penalty. They didn't really right. do that much. True. But still, you want to get something going. Be nice if he could pin Preble here. See if Robert can come off with a good punt. Good snap, hard rush. Kick is away. Not a good punt. And they're going to get it outside or right at the 25 yard line. Chuck Rogers is signaling. You know, there's a situation there. You get a 40 yard punt. They got him on the eight. Instead, you get a just a 23 yard punt. And you kind of sort of have the wind. Two weeks ago, we were here. It was calm. Here it's swirling tonight. First down, 10, pitch out, 
Seglowski got the corner again. And he's pushed out of bounds at about the 42. Segelski, good speed. Well, I saw Sam Self two weeks ago make the same mistake. He goes inside, and he's got to push the guys inside and not let them get outside. And that's, uh, see, saw that two weeks ago, and I saw that there again, and that's why it's a big gainer for Preble. Good point, Chris. Bad angle. Pitch out going this way, pretty good blocking. Sigelski, good pursuit by the Red Wings. And a nice tackle made out there. One of the tacklers was Andrew Wildman. Loss of a yard. I like Andrew Wildman. I'd pick what him you, on my I team. think what we both like about him is he loves to hit. Yep. He plays hard. Handoff. Sigelski takes it up to the 45. Pick up a four. Futsy there on the play. Futsy. Alex Hudner. Third down and seven. Daniels under center again. Drop straight back, looking. Flag in the middle usually indicates holding. And then he throws to an open spot. Couldn't get his receiver, Kornowski. Let's check out the flag. Once again, good pressure by the South Red Wings. And it was that Cody Zimmerman again, number 99. They're going to Holding decline. On Preble it. is uh, declined. It'll be fourth down. Tristan Schmidt and Emmett Dean back to receive the punt. Lasse doing the punting. Oh, oh no, man. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Now we'll see what they do. Make it fourth and two. It's a long Ball spotted two, on though. the 50. Yeah, jeez. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to stand there and watch the ball. When the ball moves, that's when you move. Now we're going to move five yards back. Ay, ay, ay. 136 remaining in the quarter. Let's try the punt. High snap. That kick is away. And uh, South is going to let it drop, bounce, and it's going to take a preble roll, be downed around the 22 or 23. First and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. Ristovojevic and Wildman be in the backfield with Huffman. 
A sliding catch made by Connor Harrison. I think those are nice plays, Marty. Just they're safe. Nice, they're nice, safe curls and the days of the just a down and outs and the easy, you know, slants or the curls like that. Kind of lost some of that. I like that play. Makes it, you know, second right, and short. Exactly. Second and three. Huffman all alone in the backfield this play. Huffman up the middle, slips by one tackler and goes for a first down. Kornowski keeps missing that first tackle so Huffman can get the big yards. We're down to 43 seconds in the quarter, Marty. Five yard pickup. There you see it, he stepped right through a tackler. Got to give a shout out to a couple of the managers from Preble who helped us with the uh, pronunciations. We'll get it right after this play. Blitz. Harrison. Clock running. That'll be the end of the quarter. Those two managers, Vicki Zeng and Mia Miller, uh, stayed and uh, helped with the uh, pronunciations. And I'll tell you, the Hornets have a big roster, Chris. There were a lot of names to go over. That's the end of the first quarter. Preble on top, 12 to nothing. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JJRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Time to get, get you fixed, fixed sweetie. Your, Your pets, pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. There you see the uh, South High sideline. That shot given to you by uh, Eric Wiesman. Richard Bartson on top. And our director tonight is Scott Mailoff. Uh, Kerry is uh, out of state. He's uh, actually going to be at the Packer game on uh, Sunday, Chris. I think penalty. they might get Preble here for jumping first. You know what? No better way to start a quarter than with a penalty because we had enough of them in the first. Yeah, but I, I think. They're trying to say that the Preble guy jumped first, which would be the right call. Well, they're talking about it as we speak. Our next game will be uh, next week when uh, North is going to host. I've got it right here. They're going to host the pier. Yeah, I've already asked Gary Doherty to help me out. All right, yeah, I won't be there. I'm uh, heading out of town for a week. Out of state, actually. All right. It's going to be second down and three. Ball at the 42. Again off sides. Huffman cutting it back just short of the 45. No flag, Chris called him jumping. The official didn't see it that way. Yeah, I asked Gary Doherty, even though he's an uh, Ohio State fan. Let's see, right there, how can you not call that? Uh. <laughs> Come on. Guys are better than that. 
Back-to-back -back penalties will take it. Short yardage, Ristovojevic uh, in the eye, the deep back. Huffman on the keeper, gets plenty of yards for the first down, give him five. There we just used the meat of the Red Wings front line to push Preble away. Watch him shoot quick here, the Red Wing line. Yeah, they had a very good push that time. Look at that. Hey, don't be afraid to do that more often. You can outmuscle that line. Huffman's pass is caught. They're saying that uh, Harrison made the catch. It was close. Here you'll see the replay. You can see for yourself if Connor caught it, or not, or did, or maybe you can. <laughs> Second down and five. Wildman in the backfield. Huffman keeps it right up the middle and gets uh, maybe two or three. Cody McLaughlin in the middle of the line trying to throw a block. It's gonna be third down. Give Huffman three on the carry. I'd set up the same as I did before, but they're not. I would have just punched it right through the Preble line there. Huffman, reverse to uh, Dean, and uh, he gets hit for about an eight yard loss. They weren't have, they wouldn't have anything to do with that. Great discipline by the Hornet defense to stay put. Watch the guys on the right side of the defense. They just stayed home and uh, a lot of guys to make the tackle. Daniels flag from way over here. Daniel still on his feet. South not doing a good job of tackling on that punt return. Oh yeah, there's a block in the back. Easy call. Easy call and number 11. Alex Sinclair, you are responsible for the illegal block. Should be a spot foul, which should be way back by the about the 20. And it, well, they're saying the 20. Look where the block takes place here. Yeah, way at the bottom of your screen. 22 Dean yard was line. the guy. Yeah, that was silly. What are you thinking? First and 10, ball is on the 14-yard uh, line. 8.28 left until halftime. Preble on top, 12 to nothing. Chris Wright along with me, Mike Martin, bringing you to the game. Oh, getting to the outside and down the sideline goes Seglowski. Oh, the big play bites south again. Ay, ay, ay. 86 yards. Sagowski now with his third touchdown on the season. And that's a little more than eight yards per carry. 86 plus is 30. He's got, uh, from the first quarter, he has 116 yards in five carries. There you get him. Good shot, Eric. Right down the sideline. No surprise that Preble isn't going for two here. They don't need it. 
unfortunately. Sigelski. Uh, no. Good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Creeped inside the corner of the upright. That one looked worse than the other two. Yeah, he didn't get much on it, did he? Well, Preble goes up now, 19 to nothing. He's a pretty fast runner too, Chris. That's Sigelski. Boy, oh boy. You know, they had, they, they got him deep with that penalty on the punt return. Yep. Manitowoc is up 14 to nothing at the end of one quarter of play against uh, the Northsiders. Thank Mike for that update. Austin Lassay uh, was stopped on the kickoff by a whistle and a flag. A what? Chuck Rogers throwing that one. Eighty-six yard one play drive for the Prebles Hornets. Kick taken at the 14 yard line. Katie trying to get the corner and doesn't get much. Oh no. You know you look over at the Preble <laughs> sideline and there's about 80 guys and you look at the sideline for you know Sheboygan South you have 40 guys and one place where you try to get guys into the game is on special teams Preble has a lot more guys that are probably a little bit better than the guys to choose from on the south side and that time it was all white shirts over here you yeah. know it's just even the special teams are just a notch better than the Southsiders on that particular play. Pass is incomplete to Harrison. I thought you were going to say it looked like they had South on the kickoff return had the play going to the right. The kick went way over to the <laughs> other side. Just take it up that sideline and get what you can get because you're not going to get to the uh, wall anyway. We got a Griesmeyer in the booth. Pass incomplete. It's second down and 10. Huffman in the shotgun. He takes it off left tackle and gets pushed back. Gets it up over the 20. It's going to be third down. Give him a gain of three. And I'll bring up third and seven. We want to remind you, 50-50 raffle tickets are being sold. The bottom of the Blueberry Bears will be selling through halftime. Third down and seven. Got Going him. deep to Harrison, the pass was short. And breaking up the play was Alex Wood. Good idea there. You roll to the right, throw back left, but just a little too much air there. He had Harrison there, but uh, unfortunately, good recovery there by Green Bay Preble. 
There you see it again. If he could have got it out there, I think Harrison could have made some yardage, but uh, the pass was short. And now we get another penalty on South as uh, they attempt to kick, make the punt. I know, Chris, you don't like the penalties, but uh, you know, if the officials see it, you have to call it. Yeah. There the kick is away. Daniels goes back, takes it on the 45, makes a good move to make one man miss, and gets it up into South Territory at about the 44. Thirty-seven yard punt there for Robert. First and ten, they're spotting the ball right at the 45. So Preble only needs 45 yards. I think Cody Sigelski said, don't give it to me, we're not far enough away. <laughs> I only want long touchdowns. Well, you know what's weird is Daniel, well, I was just gonna say, Daniels hasn't done anything with his legs yet, but there he gets a 10 yard gain. Uh, he's very shifty. Made some good moves to uh, pick up yardage. And it's a first down. Got it right to the 35 yard line, which is what they needed. Here you see the replay. Boom. Handoff up middle, bouncing to the outside was a new running back, number 21, Michael Reamer. That's just his sixth carry of the year. He had uh, five, five carries for nine yards, and on that one, he almost doubled it with a six yard play there, so he's six for 15. Third down, second down, pardon me. Reamer, pardon me, I had that name wrong the first time. Reamer picks up a few more yards. Give him three yards on that play. It's gonna be third and one. Time out by Preble. I need to uh, take some reading lessons. Number 21 for Preble is Michael Rigner. Rigner, not Reamer, not Reimer, but Rigner. Rigner on those last two carries. Chris, we had talked in the opening about uh, the South defense, and one of the things we wanted to see them do was eliminate the big plays, and uh, it hasn't necessarily been the defense, except the 87-yarder was an awfully long play, but uh, start the game off with special teams giving up the long touchdown. Yeah, and that just set the tone right away. Alex Wood returned that opening kickoff and it was just like, oh my. And uh, here we go again. That was my first thing I was thinking about. Yeah, I don't blame you. The offense too just hasn't got a lot of big gains. No, you're right. Got four punts and a fumble. 5.53 remaining until halftime. Sigelski is the uh, lone back. He gets the handoff and he gets hit right at the line of scrimmage. Zimmerman making the initial hit. Well, that's an interesting call. He, only he looks needed... just like J.J. Watt. <laughs> I was gonna say, he, he only needed a yard or two. You call timeout, then you one run outside and you lose three yards. I thought that was a good timeout by Preble. If you're a Southside fan. But they're <laughs> exactly. going for it here, Marty. And why Might not? Might as well. And South's going to call timeout. Yeah. 
I'd be very yeah, concerned about Will off. Daniels and his feet here. He's Why gonna, is that? Well, he, he can run or he can roll out and throw. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Varsity Dance Team will be performing at halftime. You'll want to uh, stay tuned for that. We'll also uh, be working real hard, at least I will, Chris won't, trying to get the uh, halftime stats for you. Fourth down. Daniels in the shotgun now. They got Hornets have two wide receivers off to the right. There goes Daniels rolling right, looking, firing deep over the middle. He's got a wide receiver making the catch no, was he dropped it. He Hunter dropped Cook, it. but he dropped the ball. Ooh, lucky. I thought he had it too, Marty. There's a lucky break. Emmett Dean on the uh, defense. That was a nice pass. Here you see him rolling. Now he's going to step up, and he gets a nice pass there. Dean stuck with it. Good job by Emmett. And South will have it first and 10 at the 29. Well, you called it, Chris. Watch out for Dean's legs. Whistle uh, prior to the play. Looks like it'll probably be in uh, illegal procedure on the Red Wings. Offside, Preble. That's just what I was thinking. Be first and five. There's 5-11 left until halftime. Plenty of time, Chris, to uh, get a score. McLaughlin over center. Wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Boris in motion, handoff to him, trying to get the corner, and he gets cut down. Good tackle out there by uh, Riley Vandenplas. Loss of two. That was Boris's first carry of the quarter. Malwitz uh, wide right, up the middle. Not much going there. I think that was Wildman. I still like that though, Marty. I like going up the middle more than going outside. Just seems like they're not getting much. They had that one big run on the jet sweep but the penalty, of course. But I like them just pushing up front. First carry for uh, the uh, 20 near the 15 yard line. That's going to be a first down. Two oh two left. Let's get behind this defense. First and ten at the fifteen yard line. Sigelski in the backfield with Daniels. He gets the handoff. Cuts it up near the 10 yard line at about the 12. Pretty good defense played on that play. Give him three yards. Preble hustling in and out of the huddle. They got three wide receivers off to the left. Daniels fakes, then hits his wide receiver, 
who slipped out of the backfield, but uh, Josh Sinclair doesn't get much. Matter of fact, I think he lost yards. It's going to be third down. I think Daniels overthought that situation. That was a loss of four. I think the first option was better. I don't know why he went and forced with that one there. That's more of like a safety valve, but South ate that one up. Another Third timeout, down. Marty. Yeah. Timeout, 111 left. You know, one of the things that uh, Preble has done defensively that seemed to work was blitzing a lot. Have you noticed South blitzing much on their defense, Chris? Me either. No. Maybe they should try something like that. Want to keep Daniels or Sigelski from getting to the outside, that's for sure. Three wide receivers off to the right this time. No blitz this time. Over the middle, picked off. Hunter Harrison has it. He's looking for some open space. He's got it, he's out to the 40, and Daniel slams him down, but not before Harrison gets it out to the 42 yard line. Will Daniels with his third pick of the year. They flooded three receivers to the right. Daniels threw left. Harrison 101 took care of the business. That was about a 45 yard return. Ball spotted first and 10 for South on the 42. Remember, he uh, intercepted it in the end zone. Kristovojevic in motion. Fake the option, and Huffman keeps it. He gets it out to the 45. Under a minute left, 52 seconds. I was hoping for a bigger gain on first down, but when yeah, you're talking 58 seconds, you got to have a big, big play there. Now you're down to one timeout, I believe. They've no liked Harrison deep. They've tried to go to him uh, two or three times without success, but... Uh, See, looking at the secondary that time, they had single coverage. Preble was kind of pinching up, which again is... Like, I get so upset about teams that do that. They they should be dropping guys deep. But uh, Sal tried the option and it was just smelled out. Ball spotted on the 45. It's... Uh, Second down. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Wildman steps up to do some blocking. Deep pass to uh, Boris Ristovoyevich is incomplete, but a flag comes in. I think we're going to have pass interference. Yeah, I got the hand on Dean's back. That's a good call. Can't push them. There's two flags out there, so two people got saw that. Sometimes I think, Chris, because I did see it on one other play, if uh, one official calls it, the other guy will mirror it and throw his flag in there too. First and 10, ball spotted on the 40-yard line. Good call, good replay. 47 seconds remaining. Huffman looking, stepping up, going deep. Ristovojevic stopped and he makes a great catch between two receivers. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. No, they're saying he was not in the end zone. 
Ball is going to be spotted on the one yard line. 39 yard play. Are you going to see it? Hoffman steps up, fires it deep. Two defenders, and Ristovoyevich makes the touchdown. catch. That should be a touchdown. Oh. Got that one wrong. Now we got a timeout. Let's talk Come about on. that, Chris. Can we show that one again, please? I want to see if the official's even down there to even make that play. There you go. See it. You can't see the official There's off to no the right. There, he was the one. Touch. Where is he going to come in? Well, the knees were down, but the ball's over the plane. Yeah, the official was way outside our camera angle. I don't know if he was down there or not. It didn't look like it. It's going to be first and goal south. 35 and a half seconds left. And South has one timeout no remaining. Timeouts. They just called timeout. They just called their last timeout. You sure? Because yep. it shows one on the scoreboard. I know, but they should have zero because they just called timeout. Because Hine called it on defense. They called it one over here on second down, and now this one. Okay, Wildman the up back. Ristovoyevich the deep back. Huffman the quarterback. Push. Huffman trying to get in. What's the call, man? Get up, boys. Still no call. Clock time. running, 20 got seconds. They got plenty of time. Again, Huffman pushed back. He got in, touchdown, South. Second effort, got it in. 12.9 seconds remaining. I think the crew got a little bit. Uh... I tell you what, you better get a, who's, what are you gonna run here? Should be going extra point, but I'm surprised they didn't give it to Boris on the second one. Oh. But they ran the same play. A little second effort for the push. It looked like he was pushed back initially, tossing it deep to the corner to uh, Connor Harrison. But the play is uh, the pass is incomplete. You know, on the and extra again, point. I blame the officials because. One guy calls touchdown, the other three don't. South doesn't know what to do. They can't get their kicker out there. Come on, boys, in the stripes. What a turnout of events, Marty. Probably really? going to put the nail in the coffin here to end the first half. They throw an interception. Big return there by Connor Harrison. And then a 40 yard, well, well should have been 40. We'll call it 39 and a half yard pass from Huffman. Yeah, I'm not Teresa sure Boyevich. why you wouldn't just kick the extra point. Now you're down by 13. Yep. I, I don't think South, you know, you know the, the officials didn't get it all set either. They're all walking around trying to figure it out. It's a score, just relax. Here where we're talking about the officials again, Marty. I hate doing that. <laughs> A blooper. Fair catch caught, but not caught. And South has it again inside the 40. A what flag, two flags Why go are down. We calling? Did it not travel 10 yards, or what's the deal? Well, the kickoff is from the 40. It definitely went 10 yards. That was not the issue. Just because it costs fair catch doesn't mean they get you the You gotta ball. catch it. I mean, you can onside kick, and you can raise your hand up and... Interference? Come on, there was nobody around him. How can you call that? Come on, geez. There's your 10 yards. Oh, they said the guy. Bumped him? Yeah, in his uh, area. That's All right. Call. 
I hate to do it, but good call. Penalty on the kickoff. It's going to be first and 10 Preble, and they're marking off a 15 yarder. There you see it. Ball at the 39. That was a good call. There were two Preble guys there. The one Preble guy obviously got bumped, and he was the guy calling the fair catch. I thought it was the other guy that no one was around, but uh, I was wrong. I'm sorry, Marty, but I better have four guys standing in the end zone right here. Daniel's got a good arm. That may not be enough. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, we I don't like have this cover two 8 stuff. 8.8 seconds. They're talking about putting more time on the clock. And apparently on the uh, kickoff, since it happened right when it arrived at the receiver, no time would run off. And there was 12.9 seconds left. Well, Preble's got their uh, wide receivers out there, two to the left, two to the right. Daniel's in the ba in the shotgun, along with Sigelski. Oh boy! South has uh, two safeties back, almost 20 yards from the line of scrimmage, more than 20 yards. They're not far enough back, Marty. They should be standing in the end zone in plain center field. Daniel's dancing. Slipping out of the pocket. Now he's running for his life. Watch. Oh. Pass over the middle is complete. And that's going to be halftime. At halftime, there you see the score. Preble on top, 19 to 6. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes.
start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. In an instant, in an instant everything we know can be taken away. I'm John Laurel and as an actor I've made a career on TV and performing on the Broadway stage. But if that would not have most. If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only ability matters. Visit Kessler, Kessler Foundation on Facebook and, and tell us your abilities. And then go to KesslerFoundation.org, where only abilities matter. I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over 2 million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver can be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. Uh, just getting ready to wrap up halftime here at uh, South High School. We have some halftime stats. Let's go through uh, Preble first. Uh, their run big running back, Corey Segelski, had eight carries for 119 yards and two touchdowns. The big play was the 86-yard touchdown run. Their uh, all-star quarterback, Will Daniels, had six carries for uh, 40 yards. 26 of those coming late in the uh, second quarter. He was also four for nine with uh, one interception for 20 yards. There you see Richard Bartson on uh, top of the press box. For uh, team totals, Preble had 188 yards, 168 rushing on 16 carries, and 20 passing on four receptions. For uh, South, uh, they had a lot of trouble running the ball. They had 12 yards and 20 carries, Chris. Uh, not very good. Uh, Boris Ristovoyevic only had five carries for minus five yards. Uh, Robert Huffman, 12 carries for 19 yards and a touchdown just before uh, halftime. Uh, Emmett Dean on a reverse was sacked for a loss of eight on his one carry. And uh, out of the uh, shotgun, Connor Harrison uh, took one carry up the middle for two. And the play that you like best, they ran the least. Running Wildman up the middle, he had one carry for four yards. Uh, passing, Huffman was three for seven for 51 yards. Uh, Harrison catching two for 12, and then the big play was at the end of the second quarter. Ristovoyevich catching one for 39 yards. Okay, a couple ideas I had, Barty, is I do like running up the middle. I saw Hoffman get a nice run up the middle. Wildman, I think you could push Preble around a little bit with your big horses up front, and uh, now that it's just a two-score difference, don't be afraid to go there. The other interesting thing I thought of, Marty, is we talked about the big play. Well, three scores for Preble. One was a 17-second you know, kickoff return. The second was the short after the fumble, short gainer, 51-second drive, and then a 13-second drive. So basically, <laughs> they have a minute 20 seconds that they had the ball on three of their possessions, and they scored three times, 17, 51, and 13. 
for Sheboygan or South. You know, they punted the ball a lot. And uh, I'm not afraid to go to that run up the middle and push it. And the positive thing here is the red team gets the ball first. You know, Chris, if you can make a little bit of yardage up the middle, a few runs, that might open up the outside because South pretty much right from the get-go was going wide, and uh, they didn't have a whole lot of success with that. Uh, some I, runs up the middle might open that up. After this kickoff, I got another thought on that uh, jet sweep run up the middle thing. Short kick, fumbled, but recovered by Doug Williams at about the 33-yard uh, line. Not a thing, hopefully maybe you can do something with the jet sweep and maybe throw off that where you fake the jet sweep, fake a jab in like you're running, step back and maybe get a pass off that. Maybe we'll see some, some wrinkle like that here in the second half. North tonight getting just pounded by Manitowoc. And a surprise score, Pulaski is beating Bayport. Pulaski has been horrible this year. First and 10 ball on the 34-yard uh, line. A lot of backs back there. Ristovojevic, the uh, deepest of the three, gets the handoff right up the middle, picks up a couple. Three yards, that's okay. Maybe you'll get four next time. Second down and seven. Dean in the game. The nice thing about running up the middle, Chris, it chews up the clock a little bit, and you're only down two scores, so it isn't like you can't play that right. possession-type game. The Quick out to Ristovojevic. He makes the catch and is knocked down at the 35. Boy, he's going to lose a yard. Dean with a nice block here, but good pursuit by the second safety there in that cover, too. Huffman overshoots his intended receiver, Connor Harrison. It'll be fourth down. Coming into the game, just 53% throwing for Huffman. What'd you say was a halftime, Marty, in percentage? He was uh, four for seven. Okay. Three for seven, pardon me. Wow. Three for seven. Daniel's back deep to receive this punt. Uh, he's very dangerous. And they give it to Wildman on the short snap. And uh, not Wildman, but uh, Alex Feudner, but they don't get the first down. It'll be first down Preble deep in South Territory. Alex Junior takes it on the fake punt. Preble will take over at the South 37 yard line. They had a long way to go there for, for first down. Yeah, Marty. I don't know if I like that play, Chris. And short field. It works, it looks great. Oh, he gets nailed. Gets it up to about the 35. Not much. Dylan Kuberall with a nice tackle. On Corey Sobowski, two-yard gain on the play. He's going to bring up second and eight. Get your 50 minutes. Second down for the Hornets. Ball on the 35. Daniels under center this time. Fake handoff. Looking deep. He's oh got boy. his wide receiver. Big number 85, Brandon Collins for the score. Oh, that was too easy, Chris. You're going to see it. You know, he does have a nice arm. Not much air under that pass. And another big play. Forty-five seconds, Marty. 
on the drive. 17, 51, 13 now, 45 second drives for four scores. Short field, now they fake it. Running to the corner and getting the two point conversion was Josh Sinclair. All right, with 9.56 remaining, it's 27 to six, Preble. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Back at South High School where uh, Preble has just scored on a 35-yard touchdown pass. Will Daniels to Brandon Collins. Kick carries down to the 10-yard line. And uh, getting pushed out of bounds is uh, Tristan Schmidt. Pardon me, Kyle Cady. It's going to be first and 10. South has it on the 28 yard line. Huffman looking, going deep and uh, look like the receivers had their uh, patterns crossed up because nobody was even close. Second down and 10. Next week, uh, Chris is gonna be at uh, North when they host the pier. Who's gonna be your partner again? Gary Doctorty. Is, he did a game a couple years ago with me, or maybe last year, I think he did last That's right, year. His son October. was a good football yep, player. Tanner. Tanner. Doctorty. A lot of wide receivers in this set. Ristovojevic in motion. Look out. Oh, staying on his feet was Wildman. He made the catch. Emmett Dean cleared out the zone, and uh, Wildman made the catch. It was a good pass, but uh, actually, Preble did a pretty good job of smelling it out. That's there scary you see play, Dean. Though. Boom. That's a scary play for Wildman. A quicker guy there would have laid him out. Second and short. Gain a nine on the play. Four spot by the officials. You got to put it by the hash. Wildman, the lone setback. Oh, boy. Hand off to Feudner, he's through the line, he's in the open, he's at the 30, and gets knocked down at about the 22 yard line. Alex Feudner doesn't hey. touch the ball much, but he gained big yardage there. Yeah, Futsy with a big play. Look at him run too. It's gonna be a catcher for Craig Clace and the South Red Wings this year. 42 yard gain by Futsy. Huffman going deep to Harrison. He's got it, touchdown, Sheboygan South.
Just like that, Chris, 63 yards. Here you see the throw, good adjustment by Harrison. Big target out there. Connor goes 6'1", 6'2", 180 pounder. Good adjustment, good athlete. Dean holding for Katie on the extra point. Roberts fourth touchdown pass of the season. There's the extra point. And now you're back with it, two scores. 27 to 13. Dad, wait, wait till, till you see, see the bike, bike we got, got for Jake. Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. Kind of nice to have a fresh back like Feutner, you know, get that handoff. And uh, he showed good speed, not like a catcher. No. And uh, big play for the special teams here. They got to do something here. You got to be better than the team in white. Can't allow a big return. Wooden Corona back deep. Kick is uh, carrying down to the nine. Corona gets buried outside the 25. Here you see the kickoff. He just runs right up the middle, Marty. 10, 15, about 18 yards. Ball is spotted on the 30, 27. See if the defense can hold. 8.21 left in the third. Preble on top, 27 to 13. Daniels keeps it. One missed tackle, two missed tackles, three before Four. he finally gets hit and dropped. That's the key element, the drop part. We got a south player down. And it's a leg. I think it's Emmett Dean, though, Marty. That'd be a That's, big loss. Yeah, that is a big loss. He's 5'7", 130, but he has a heart of a 290-pound defensive tackle. That run by Dean went for uh, 11 yards out to the uh, 38. Um, Here you see Dean back there. I don't know where he got hurt. I think what happened is the slip, you know, when he tried yeah. to change directions. Helping him get off the field was Cody McLaughlin. Fix the timeouts. Both teams still have their full complement of three timeouts for this half. All righty, Preble with a first down off the 11 yard run by uh, Daniels. Ball spotted on the 38. Hand off to Sigulski. There you and, go. And uh, he gets stopped. Little gain. Josh Teagarden making the stop. Much better job there. Teagarden doing the job there. The junior. No gain. Number 51. So let's take him out. Oh, no, not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Probably expecting a pass of sorts. Watch the tight end over on this side, Marty. Pitch out. Zagulski gets hit and dropped. Making the tackle was Steve Rodriguez. 
great play. Great play by the defense. Loss of three. There they're working on Dean. Hopefully it'll be okay. Hey, it's a big third down play, third and 13 for the Hornets. They've got uh, two wide receivers out to the left, one out to the right, and a whistle. Timeout south. Man. They obviously uh, weren't prepared for that formation, I guess. What do you think, Chris? <laughs> get it done. Let's get it play. You don't like the timeout. Well, you got to get it out. If you know Coach Hine doesn't see something, he calls timeout. So let's just make sure it works. A lot of weapons out there for Preble. You know, Daniels, like you said, you got to worry about him running or passing. Sigelski. You know, great runner, and then you've got a pretty good receiving core, too. Some big guys. Yeah, they have a host of guys to throw to, but uh, no, they're not going to run here. They're going to throw, so. Unless Daniels gets to the outside right. and scrambles, but. Right. Uh, I don't think it'll be a set up straight run up the middle here. Reamer out here on our side, out to the left. Daniels straight back, looking, looking, gets through the pile. Here's where he's dangerous. Picks up a clip, it looked like out there, but no flag, and he goes for the first down into South Territory. And the entire Watch this, out on the sideline, it looks like there's a clip right there on number 10. Yep. The entire staff of South all disappointed on that. That was a 16 yarder, Chris. Whistles. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. timeout by South. Boy, they're burning them early, Chris. Watch it. See number 10 right in the boom, right there. Not called. Ah! And Emmett Dean on the table getting attended to. Hopefully not a knee. Looks like it's an ankle injury. That's what kept uh, Martinez out uh, tonight. Maybe it's just a foot. <laughs> just. Well, hopefully Emmett will be able to come back. I will say this, Marty, the game is crawling. There's just no mojo. There's lots of flags in the first half. Right, and there we're, isn't much flow to it. We're not even halfway through the se se second, excuse me, the third quarter here. And, it seems uh, like the second quarter. Hey. All right, there is 621 left in the third. It's uh, first and 10. So many flags called, and then there's a clip right in front of you. And, you and don't they don't throw it. Hand off to Sigalski, and he goes nowhere. Sigalski with the carry. Tackle made by number 72, John Sullivan. Sullivan making the so stop. Sigelski has uh, minus one yard in four carries this quarter. Pitch out, running behind a running back partner. Sigelski gets about three. Kyle Katie, a much better job there. Michael Nitty trying to throw a block. Here we go again, third down. Chance to get the Hornets off the field with a stop. Last situation, he had third and 16, and they got it. Here's another opportunity for the boys in red. 
Daniels in the shotgun, rolling right. Fires over the middle and right through the hands of the intended receiver, Nathan Prevost. Boy, that time I thought Daniels could have just taken off and run for that one. It's just the third punt for Preble. Kristen Schmidt back deep for the Red Wings. And his best. Schmidt lets it go. Good decision. Oh. He's out of bounds. They're going to get it at the south. Is going to get it at the two-yard line. Great punt and good coverage by the Hornets. Ay, ay, ay. I'd like to see that punt again, please. Let's see it. He, how, how can that be down? He never had possession of the ball. Doesn't matter. It's out of bounds. Huffman. Five yards deep in the end zone, and it goes right through his hands, and it's going to be a safety. Oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. Boy, See, I boy. thought that guy had his, like, part of his body out of bounds in the end zone, Marty, that's all. I was wrong. Hey, that's okay. First time all year. Oh boy. And in the rules, now you have to either kick or punt from the 20. Trouble is awarded with a safety. That makes the score 29 to 13. 450 left in the third. And uh, Preble isn't going to line up where they normally do. They're going to be up another uh, 10 to 15 <laughs> yards, 20 yards. Because the kickoff quick, happens quick. at the 20. Yeah, all the way up outside the 30. Ay, ay, ay. Boy, there's glimpses, Marty. A lot of glimpses of positive things for the Red Wings. Had a preble down there, third and 16. They allowed that uh, first down, and then the best punt there for Preble, and it stays in bounds. Oof. The return man is buried at the 41 by about three or four different Red Wings. AJ Gutierrez getting off the pile along with a couple of his mates. It's going to be about, first and 10 Preble. It's been about three or four bad exchanges between center and quarterback for South tonight, too, which we didn't see two weeks ago. Daniels in the shotgun again. Keeps it and picks up maybe one or two. Fake the handoff to uh, Sigulski. Last time there was a high snap way early back in the first quarter. To, you know, Huffman fumbled and that led to a Preble score and here high snap in the end zone allows a safety for Preble. They've uh, bottled up Sigulski uh, very well here in the second half. 
Cody Zimmerman getting up off the bottom of the pile. And we're at 345 in the third. It's going to be third and nine. South needs two scores and two two-point conversions at least. Need the defense to step up right here, boys. Big handoff, Daniels right over the middle. He's got his receiver. And going for the first down was Nathan Prevost. Third down conversion again for Preble. First and 10. Ball spotted on the 43. Provost came into the game with three catches, 19 yards, and a touchdown. And that was a pretty money play there. 15 yarder. Just ran right in the middle of the field. Daniels sees him and connects it. And getting buried for a loss. I mean, there's is, so many uh, good things, Marty, we're seeing. Just can't put them all together. There you see the nice play by the Red Wings. They just got to put three together in a series. Daniels has a little bit of room, but yeah. uh, good fill. Flag comes flying in. He gets it inside the 40, but uh, we'll have to check out the flag first. Prevost, who had the uh, big uh, catch a minute ago, had the big hold there. Too much hugging. Watch him hold it. <laughs> you can't grab like that. Right open in the field there. Oops. <laughs> Easy call for an official. Gonna be second and a bunch. Make it second and 19. Wild oh boy. Man. Good play that time. Ben Kornowski, the tight end, getting the pass and uh, running it up the field. Thought Wildman was going to make the play there. Down to a minute 39. Makes it a little more reasonable instead of third and 20. Now it's just third and three. Nice play. 16 yard pickup. Set up well. Here you go, Marty. Daniels trying to bounce to the outside. Stiff arms one tackler and runs for the first down, and then we get a late flag again. I think we're going to get that clip, which we could have used a long time ago. You know, these are the kind of drives we were hoping to see from south. Holding on Preble, push that play back. A lot of flags, Marty. You're going to see the holding the uh, simple play there again. Holding on Schmidt. Schmidt being held, that is. All right, it's going to be third down and about seven. Daniel's looking, trying to step up. He's surrounded. Wide he open. sees a man wide open. He's got it. Touchdown. Brandon Collins. The uh, pass defense broke down, and he was left wide open. I'll tell you, Daniels threw across his body 
About 35 yards in the air, 40 yards in the air. That's a Down tough to play. The Ball was on the 40 yard line. So it's gonna go as a 40 yard touchdown reception. 33 to the five, 43 to the five, I mean. Whew. 38 yards across your body and a missed snap. Jump pass to the end zone is incomplete by uh, Josh Sinclair. With uh, 51.4 seconds left, it's 35 to 13, Preble. And another big play. See Todd Tudis talking to uh, the special teams. Sinclair's got two receptions in the quarter, Chris. 35 yard touchdown and a 40 yard touchdown. Daniels now with four touchdowns on the season. Go with his three interceptions. But his feet kept him alive and his arm helped him the rest of the way. Hey, you know, he really kept good awareness of the field too, even though he was surrounded by all the red jerseys. Not much there. Austin Holman with the return. Katie being buried at the uh, 20 yard line. It's going to be first and ten Red Wings. They're uh, it's outside the 20, let's call it the 22. Yep, scoreboard's going 21, so we will too. Huffman, he's got time. Wheel route. Ristovojevic makes a great leaping catch right at the 50 yard line, 29 yards. Glimpses, Marty, there's so many good glimpses. We're seeing things on defense, they're doing okay. They just get beat by the big plays. And then the offense, I mean, there's moments here that this team can move it down the field. Came in averaging 30 points a game. They're stuck on 13, but they're going to score a couple more, I think, before this is over. There you can see that one wide receiver, Harrison, clearing out the uh, opening for uh, Ristovojevic. Boris up the middle, and a good tackle made by Will Daniels. Ristovojevic goes for uh, four yards. Clock running down. That'll be the final play of the quarter. At the end of three quarters of play, Preble leads it 35 to 13.
Back at South High School getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Uh, Chris just mentioning that uh, every once in a while you get glimpses of uh, what South can do offensively. And uh, hopefully they will be able to sustain this. Second down. Ristovojevic spun down at about the 44 or 43 yard line. It's going to be third down. Third down and three. Huffman uh, all alone in the backfield. Ristovojevic in motion. Huffman trying to take it up the middle and he is sacked at the 45 yard line. Wow, no blocking there. Right, he I got didn't his bell rung. I didn't mind the play call there, Marty. Just the execution didn't work up front for for a very rare time for South. And at fourth down and you're down by 22, you gotta go. It's gonna be uh, fourth down and five. Wildman and Ristovojevic in the backfield with Huffman. Huffman showing a good arm. He's got his wide receiver Harrison who gets it down to about the 32 or 33 yard line. First and 10, South. Old school football, just run your little 10 yard, do a little turnaround or a little hook, curl. Nice pass from Huffman to Harrison. Move the chains. 13 yard reception. Clock running, 10.30 left in the ball game. Wide to this side is uh, Michael Miller along with Wildman. Middle, Middle screen. screen, nothing doing. Zimmerman makes a reception, but uh, he's hit for a loss. Another good play call. I, I thought that was good the way Preble over pursues a little bit. But again, nobody hit the Preble guy. Just when you think you got something rolling, all of a sudden, you know, Preble does something you don't expect. I mean, they, like you said, you know, they're rushing hard, but uh, that time they keep someone back. Second and 13. Blitz. Good block by Wildman. The pass is... Uh, Incomplete. Ristovojevic making a leaping attempt. Third down. Good replay, Scott. Oh, great attempt by Boris. Not able to come down with it. Good there job get a good shot. The blitz too. Miller spun out of bounds at about the 26. Going to set up about a fourth down and four again. Make it a nine yard completion. Off and back, throws to Miller, nice and simple. Seems like the Hornets will give you a little space between their little gap. They don't want to get burned deep, so that's why those passes work. Huffman looking, going deep to Harrison, just out of his reach. Preble take over at the 26 yard line. I know I keep saying this over and over, but I like that play too. You've been short passing, short passing, and my little stutter step and throw and try to get a score there. Just didn't work. 
Here you see it's just overthrown. Couple of feet, couple of inches. All right, Preble's got it first and 10. Daniels, uh, look like there might have been a mix up in the backfield. He gets hit for a loss. Second and 11. Number 43, Paul Brunt. 17, Kyle or Dylan Cooper. It's going to round second and 11. Daniel sends a man in motion, pitch out to uh, Sigelski, oh. and he gets hit for a loss. Good play. I think that tackle was made by Doug Williams, number 33. Another loss makes it third and 12. Watch this play by Williams. Comes back. Boom. boom. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> that was my turn. Took the words right out of your mouth. Daniels back, looking, steps up, fires over the middle. Boy, a real dangerous pass. Tristan Schmidt, one of the defenders. The south guy is uh, not getting up. As intended for number 81, Nathan Rapier. Broken up by number 10, Sam Self. We have an injury timeout called on the field. Oh. Oh, that uh, south guy was Sam Selk. Yeah, just contact at the same time. Daniels reminds me a little bit of that guy from Green Bay a few years back who used to try and drill everything right in there. Who was that guy? A single digit on his jersey. Yep. Everybody just loved him till the end. Favre or Favre or something? Oh, that guy? <laughs> Must have been a high school kid. Here you'll see it's just contact right away. Oh, Scott working the slow-mo. <laughs> you got to love it. Good job, Scott. Sam Selk, they put him at 5'11", 160. I don't think so. I don't think he's 160. Good athlete, basketball. Baseball, football. The defense held, Chris. Not many punts for uh, Preble. No, is this will be their fourth. Well, it Second. is that many already. Yep. Okay. Two in the first half. <laughs> hey, look who's back to return the punt. Emmett Dean. All right. Off the training table, Top, making top room top for Selk. <laughs> That's the bad part. Yeah. Tristan Schmidt, the other return man. Kick is away, it takes a nice uh, roll for uh, the Hornets and South will get it first and 10 at the 46. You know, Preble has not punted well all night. The only time they needed a punt, they got one before when they got it down at the two, that was a 43 yard line punt, but normally his punts haven't been so good. Just another thing that everything seems to be working right for well, Preble tonight. What I was thinking when you were talking there, Chris, is uh, there's gonna be a game when they're gonna need some good punting and if they can't get it, it's gonna hurt their chances of winning. Still seven, coming. nine left. Fake the reverse, Open. deep is Ristovojevic and uh, lost his footing and was trying to make the catch as he fell down. Tough break. 
He was so wide open. Oh. <laughs> Picked a bad time to lose your balance. Well, it's slightly under hey, thrown too, that which was the done. play you were looking for. You know, you know, reverse, uh, right. fake the reverse and throw Run off of that. There. Yep. It worked. It's two. Wildman keeps his feet and barrel, and he lost the ball. Prebles got it at the 34-yard line. Good run by Wildman till he lost the ball. Humble on a play, recovered by DJ Prebble at the 35-yard line. Look at Wildman with the second effort. Ball just got popped out. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy is right. Two fumbles and then that fake punt that didn't go anywhere. Sigelski cuts it back. He's got some room. He's got the first down and he's into South Territory at the 49. 16 yard run. Boy, if I'm Preble right now, I'm not putting the ball up. I'm just gonna run the ball here. 7-15. Good cutback. South defense been out in the field here in the second half a long time. Nice run that time by Michael Regner. He's uh, gotten quite a few touches in this ball game, Chris. Picks up four on that carry. Regner again and uh, a flag stops action. Illegal procedure on the Hornets. That's our first penalty of the quarter, Chris. Well, I, I don't know if that was a false start or the quarterback didn't handle the snap right away, so it appeared that it uh, looked like a false start. Or the center did. Everybody else moved and he forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks strange. All right, second down and 11. That was, you could see that one. Big number 76 got out of his stance. Wyatt O'Neill, 6'2, 253. Hard to miss that boy. I said that the defense for South has been on the field way too long. Unofficially, I have the South offense having the ball here in the second half for six minutes and 50 seconds. So basically, Preble has had it for, you know, 13 minutes. So they've doubled. The defense has been out there a long time for South. This is weird. Deep pass, incomplete. Intended receiver was Brandon Collins. I know it's second and 16, but I'd be running the football, Marty. The clock is more the uh, situation you want to have work than uh, the. Uh, Who was that basketball coach that said that at the end of the game, something like that, your opponent is the clock? Been a long, long game, Marty. Too much passing. You're gonna pass again. Just nice, good, Boom. safe one, though. Wildman makes the stop. Making the reception was uh, Nathan Prevost. He doesn't gain much. Like a loss of a yard. That's more of a safe pass. That's not such a bad idea because you still want the clock to roll if you're Preble. 
fifth punt for Preble, which would tie South. South hasn't punted at all here in the second half. And he hasn't punted very well all night. Good snap. Kick is away. Dean. Yeah, nobody wants to handle the ball, Chris. Of course, yeah, I don't know. 28-yard punt. Yeah. 18, South 32, gonna... the big 43 one that hurt South, causes the safety, 31 and 28. South will have it on the 23. Huffman trotting in there, we have 5.04 left. Harrison, the wide out to this side. There you see them just inside your picture. Huffman showing a good arm. And uh, Harrison taken down at the 35. Been their best play tonight. Talking to Sam Selk, asked if he's okay sidelines there. First and 10 for the Red Wings at the 35. Ristovojevic in the backfield with uh, Huffman. Oh boy. Check that. That was number 48, Alex Feudner. Rebel just going to unleash yourself here. He's going to throw, and so you're going to blitz. He ran right into the blitz that time. Well, Alex's average per carry just went down from 42 to 20 yards per carry. Another Huffman bad lost snap. it, picks it up, trying to get something out of nothing, and can't. That's happened way too many times tonight, too. Loss of nine. Third down and 21. Valetsky and Harrison, wide outs to this side. Hand off to Ristovojevic. He gets a few yards, way short of the first down. Set out to about the 33. Give him a gain of nine. Boris Ristovojevic on the carry. Out there by number eight, ben Kronowski, and number 62, Fourth down. South gonna go for it. Rolling, it's under three minutes, 250 now. Deep pass to Harrison, and making the what I thought was a good play was Brennan Doherty, but uh, flag comes in. Harrison is down. The call pass interference on Preble. Well, what do you think, Chris? I thought it was a good call. His Real, hands all over go. his back. Watch. See how he's yeah, maybe. pushing. Hey, I do that all the time at basketball. Nobody calls anything. <laughs> it's going to be first and ten for the Red Wings. Oh, my. Oh, no. Offsetting we penalties. had two flags, one at the line of scrimmage that went against South. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's play it over. You know, that's what you get worried about, too. You get a situation where... It's very difficult for you to win the game here, and you got guys out there get hammered. Here you're gonna see it again. Maybe just landed wrong on his leg. He's all right, that boy Connor.
being escorted by Derek Wagner, helping him off. Connor Harrison giving it the old uh, high school try. Hey, Derek and Connor were classmates at Price Child Academy, right up the street here. Fred Murray checks in for uh, South, number 34, as a wide receiver. Oh. oh boy, here we go. Yeah, right. we can see that big John Sullivan in the middle move. It's gonna be a penalty on South. You know, there should be a point where you should just say, game is over. Now they're gonna punt. That would seem reasonable. See if they can do it without a flag. <laughs> Steve Rebel. Rodriguez checking in. Rebels should be able to just run it out. And if they don't, you're going to hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to try to block the punch. Oh, and they nice. got it. Nice. What's South for? picks it up. Cody McLaughlin gets it out to about the 34. Coach Hine going to put in some new guys. Good for him. As they should. Preble should be doing the same, but we'll see. Trying to. There's a new quarterback out there. Did you get the number of that kid? Dylan maybe. Van Boxel. Yep. Russell Trimble late to come in. Handoff and getting nailed was the uh, Preble running back. He got pushed back pretty hard. That was uh, Regner again. Or was it Josh Colon? We'll give it to Colon. He picks up a yard. Two minutes. Two minutes. New running back. Chucking and jiving. Josh Verhaden picks up a nice gain. It's going to be a just short of the first down, apparently. Down to the 25. Kyle Kading on the tackle, down to a minute 30. And Boxel under center. Inside handoff, that running back has got the first down at the 20. A lot of white shirts running in, running out. Nitty on the carry that time. First down at the uh, 20. Clock running under a minute now. There's a scrambling stop. forward was for Hayden. The second down and eight. Nothing fancy here, Chris. Nope. One back in the backfield. Hey, Shanklin on the stop. And a lot of different guys checking in. This last should be the last play, play yep. Yeah. Don't you dare call it delay. <laughs> or, or throw it. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Get him. Oh. Got him. Good hard run that time by Espina. And that's going to be the ball game. Final score, Preble 35, South 13. Next week we're going to be at, uh, well, Chris is going to be at Sheboygan North with uh, Mr. Doctory. They uh, host a peer. Chris, a couple comments about tonight's game, and then we'll wrap up the broadcast. Just big plays again for Preble. I saw a lot of good things from South tonight, but again, the big plays were big too much of hurting things or penalties or something, but don't hang your head south. You're not that far away. You just made a couple too many mistakes. All right, with that, uh, for the crew, Scott Mailoff, our director, Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson on camera. I'm Mike Martin for Chris Wright. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.